So we've reached Christmas Day and I'm just about dressed for it, well mostly, so I was going to show you nine little toys from my collection um, in sets of threes. The first three would be these lovely little automaton which St. Ledger make and I just love these. I've got Christmas themed as well and if I turn this thing here, if I turn the little handle at the end, he's, distrib he's distributing presents. You see he's, he's sitting in a sledge or something but there's a little present in his hand and he's handing it out. The wire that's handing it out to the children. You see, that's right, he's the side of a sledge there, so he's Santa in the sledge, handing out presents. That's one of them. The second one is a typical activity you do at Christmas time, or just after usually, which is skiing, of course. He's got a nice skier here, which is, again, let's see if I can turn it. Oh, goodness me, look at that. He's really going up, isn't he? Oh, could I get him to go over the top? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah, here we are. Boom. That's nice better. Yeah, he's just about working. I think he should be like that, actually. The last one's my favourite one. It's Santa Claus up on the roof, about to um, go and visit a family, and he's at the chimney looking down. What's going to happen? Well, believe it or not, he dives down head first. Suicidal? No, just reckless, I suppose. Or perhaps he's just being careful. Anyway, Santa Claus die. He's magical. So it's a lovely idea of having a chimney there with a sanctuary on top. When you pull the little thing, down he dies, head first, <laughs> headlong. Goodness me. So that's three charming little ones from... I keep these ones, incidentally, these, these automata in, in boxes like this. Look at that. That's one of... I think I've got 50 of these, but this couple have made 150 of these, of which the three Christmas ones I've shown are particularly suitable, I think. Here's the next section, which is a little section of... I love these pencils, which have pencil top animations to them, and these are all Christmas themed ones. So let's look at the first one, which is a friendly snowman. Let's see if we can get him into focus. Oops, there's it. And then you've got to wind him up, and he's going to say, whoa, are you having a good time? Happy, happy, happy Christmas. Keep going, kids. Love it all. Makes more of me. Oh, well, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And also the actual thing itself, something, something cheerful on it, you know, it's on, on the actual, um, body of the thing. There's that one there. There's a, a reindeer who is, this isn't Rufus because he hasn't got a red Rudolph, rather. He hasn't got a, a red nose. He must be looking for Rudolph. Where's Rudolph? Where's Rudolph? Uh, where? Where's Rudolph? Where's Rudolph? Where is he? Oh, 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 oh. We're late for the sleigh. Oh, etc., etc., etc. You can imagine that. What's the message on this one? It's somewhere. Uh, oh, yes, there we are. Merry Christmas. That's a good one, isn't it? Just about Merry Christmas. Every one of them, of course, should be actually um, sharpened this end so you can actually write with them. But there we are. And the last one, of course, has to be Santa himself. What's his message say? Oh yes, Jolly Holidays, that's nice, that's good. And then we're going to wind him up. Here he is, and then when he's wound up, I'll see if I can get him into focus too. Wow! Are you enjoying yourself, kids? Are you having a happy Christmas? Look at those eyes winning around as well. Superb, isn't it? Animations all the way. Very, very nice. Well, 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 etc. etc. I'm sure you can invent your own words. So, three very nice items from that top. The last three are what I would call sort of oddball ones, wacky ones, which I'm not sure I quite know why I got them. This is an interesting one, which some people have heard about, but I never have. It's it's a check, it's a checkbook actually. It's So let's look at what's inside here. What's going on here exactly? There's the first check, for instance. What's it say? <sighs> oh, I promise not to eat the face. Oh, yes, well, that's a good one. That's... <sighs> well, there we are. That's a good promise, isn't it, for kids to say. What's the next one? I'll just do... There's a load of them, but I'll just do the first three and see what you think of them. Uh, give the kids, the mothers, the parents a chance to sleep in after they've been delivering their stockings in the nights and things. And the last one. 
So a very sweet little idea that it's something that came out oh, many years ago and I thought it's a bit oddball but I'll tell it. The second of the three oddballs is one I've had a long time. It's a water ball. It's bizarre because it's obviously got snow inside it and something lurking. You can't see it clearly because this is quite opaque. This. The idea is you probably know from this stuff is you have to squeeze it like that. And there we are. It's actually a Santa. It's actually a snowman, but I can't get him to behave. I think he's some um, his balance is all strange. I don't know what it is about. He won't stay upright, basically. Well, let's just see if I can wiggle it around so you can see the front of him. But there's certainly a snowstorm going on in the middle of there. Oh, yes, I'll try one more little squeeze. Squeeze it hard like that, and then he is, well, he's showing the back of you. Oh, goodness me. Tricky, isn't it? I can't get into snowfall. Oh, yes, you can, just by getting into snowfall like that as well. So, a very strange thing which has to be squeezed in order to make it work at all. Ah, there we are. The last item is the wackiest of the lot, really. This is very bizarre, but it reflects the strange Christmas I'm about to have. I don't know about yours. This is a, a card um, sent to me in 2006 by um, a German friend, and it's, it's a Berlin company who's making it. Look at this. It's a bizarre idea altogether. It's a Christmas card with a weird looking Christmas tree. What to make of it? I looked at it for some time thinking, what's going on here? I suddenly tweaked because I was able in my mind to turn it around the other way, a mirror, a, a mirror image. See if you can understand it a bit more clearly if I show the mirror image. I'll get that there like that and I'll bring it into focus, into the, oops, there, the interview. Yes, it's a punctuation mark known as the question mark. And of course, the um, the pot at the bottom is supposed to be the dot that occurs at the bottom of exclamation and question mark. So this artist was, what, 2006 he was. So perhaps he's looking 14 years into the future when we're having a very strange Christmas with a big question mark over it. I think it's quite a good icon for me. So I've got to finish by wishing you a very uh, weird and uh, wacky Yuletide. <laughs>